guys, some of you I didn't see all summer. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the Mommy. summer. And then we took a, a little break so we didn't have story time. But today, I brought a friend of yours to say hello to you. And there's a lot of kids, so I'm not going to come around with him. But after story time, what? You want them to say hello? They can say goodbye. Yeah. Can you say goodbye to him before you leave today? Yes. Yeah. Not yet. After yeah. story time is over, you can either shake his hand or give him a hug or even give him a kiss because he loves you. And remember, what does he do sometimes to me? What does he do? Does he, does he trick me sometimes? And he comes up and he says hello and, I, and you say, monkey, monkey. And I say, there's no monkey there, right? So he tricks me a lot. Anyway, he wanted to come to story time today to say hello to everybody. So I'm going to put him right up here, and he's going to listen to stories. But what if he sneaks Shh. up there? No, he won't sneak up there. He's a great listener. When he comes to story time, he always listens, just like you guys do. No, he won't. He'll be good. All right, are we ready? What do we always start story time with? Open yeah. shut. Alright, ready? Open shut them. Open shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open shut them. Open shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them crawling, creep them crawling. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth, but do not let them in, in, in. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, clap, clap. Good job. I let them in. I let them in. You let them in? Oh, no. Are you... They're full of germs. Mm -hmm. I never let them in. All right. Now we're going to sing Crowley Shows. Mm. Ready? Ready? We're going to do a book. I have a, a special book today. Brand new. Wait till you see it. But first we'll do Crowley Shows. Ready? Crowley Shows. Crowley Shows. From the ocean. From the ocean. Shining in the sun. Shining in the sun, covering the shore, covering the shore. When I see them, when I see them, my heart tells me that I love you more than all the little early shells, early shells. Excellent job. All right. Now we'll have our first story. This is a really special book, and I bought it just for story time. It's called Chomp Goes the Alligator. Want to see him chomp? He chomps. He chomps. All right, so this is called Chomp Goes the Alligator by Matthew Van Fleet. One shiny blue fish swimming in the swamp. Along came the alligator. What? Chomp, chomp, chomp. Two furry brown otters. You see them? Furry brown otters splashing in the swamp. Along came the alligator. What? Chomp, chomp, chomp. Three Fluffy white cranes. Do you know crane? Yeah. They were standing in the swamp. Along came the alligator. What? Chomp, chomp, chomp. Let me try it. I might have to put my hand in there. Four leathery black. What's leathery and black? Beavers. Biting by the swamp. Along came the alligator. You guys be the alligators. What happened? Chomp, chomp, chomp. chomp. Five bushy red. What could that be? Bushy red. 
foxes playing by the swamp. Along came the alligators. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Six slick orange. What could be? What's duck. orange? Duck. You think it's a duck? Slick orange. Oh, newt. Like a chameleon creeping by the swamp. Along came the alligators. Chomp, chomp. Seven, bumpy green. What's bumpy and green? A mushroom? <laughs> Maybe it's a... Oh, I don't know. What's bumpy and green? Frog. It's a frog. Licking by the swamp. Along came the alligator. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Eight, sticky pink. the swamp. Along came the alligators. Chomp! 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 You guys are great alligators. I'm getting afraid of you. Nine fuzzy yellow chickens. Could be chickens. What else? Bananas? A bananas fuzzy and yellow? Let's see what it is. Caterpillars. I just saw one the other day. Caterpillars crawling by the swamp. Along came the alligators. Chomp! 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 Oh, I forgot this. Ten shimmering purple ducks. I don't know. Shimmering and purple? A duck's purple? Could be a butterfly. Let's see. Hummingbirds, my favorite. Fluttering over the swamp. Do you see how fast it, their feathers go? Along came the alligator. Chomp, chomp, chomp. One enormous alligator. So full, his tummy hurts. He ate everything. Along came one last tiny fish. Chomp! 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 What did he do? He gave a big burp after eating all those things. And you know what he said? Excuse me. Look at everything that he ate. Did you like that? You guys made the best chomping alligators. Okay, now let's all stand up. We're going to do a song called The Grand Old Duke of York. Do you know how to match or you want me to teach you? You know how to match? Let me see you match. Ready? The Grand Old Duke of York. He had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill, and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. The grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill, and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Good job. You're good marchers. Okay. Let's do Pete the Cat. I love my white shoes. You know it? We watched it. You watched it? Yeah, we watched it too. I watched it. I want to watch it too. I watched it. I never watched it. I only read it. I watched it. All right. Ready? Pete the cat was walking down the street in his brand new white shoes. Pete loved his white shoes so much 
he sang this song. You might know it. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. Good song. Oh no! Pete stepped in a large pile of strawberries. Oh, what color did it turn his shoes? What? Are you sure, Red? I think green. Turned his shoes red. Did Pete cry? Goodness, goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. He said, "Every everything is cool." I love my red shoes. I love my red shoes. I love my red shoes. Oh no! Pete stepped in a large pile of blueberries. What color did it turn his shoes? Blue. Blue. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! He kept walking along and singing his song, and he said, awesome. I love my blue shoes. I love my blue shoes. I love my blue shoes. Oh, oh, no! Pete stepped in a large puddle of mud. Ooh, what color did it turn his shoes? Wow, there. Yeah. Did Pete cry? Goodness, yes, no. no. He kept walking along and singing his song. And he said, Groovy. I love my brown shoes. I love my brown shoes. I love my brown shoes. in a bucket of water and all the brown and all the blue and all the red all washed away. What color were his shoes again? Are you sure? They were white but now they were wet. Did Pete cry? No! He kept walking along and singing his song and you know what he said? Rock and roll. I love my wet shoes. I love my wet shoes. I love my wet shoes. Do you love your wet shoes? The moral of Pete's story is, no matter what you step in, keep walking along and singing your song. Look at, look at all the sneakers, all the different colors. Which ones do you like best? Because it's all good. And that's the end. Do we like that story? Yes. I love Pete. And I love his, all the different color shoes. Okay. Now we're going to do a new song about a banana. So let's stand up. I know that. You know what? So first we're going to grow. We're going to grow like this. And then we're going to peel like this. And then we're going to eat like this. And then we're gonna do, we're gonna go bananas. Are you ready? Grow banana, grow banana, grow banana, grow. Peel banana, peel banana, peel banana, peel. Eat banana, eat banana, eat banana. Eat banana, eat banana. went bananas on me. All right, and now we have a song about bananas. And you know it because it's Betty. And I think the name of this story is Betty Goes Bananas. Poor Betty. I'm sorry that she goes bananas. Ready? Betty was hungry. She saw a banana 
and she wanted to eat it. <coughs> but the banana would not open. She couldn't peel it. Betty tried using her hands, and she tried using her teeth, and she even tried using her feet. And then suddenly, Betty cried. Wah! <laughs> and she sniffed. <laughs> and she kicked. And she banged. And she screamed. Wah! Until finally, she calmed down. There's no need for that, said Mr. Toucan. Watch, I'll show you how to peel a banana. Mr. Toucan showed Betty just how to peel the banana. But the banana was Betty's. And she wanted to peel. Daddy, Daddy, Betty looked Daddy. at the banana. And she looked at Mr. Toucan. And she looked at the banana again. And then suddenly, Betty cried. <laughs> and Betty sniffed. <laughs> and she kicked. And she banged. And she screamed, Wah! Wah! <laughs> Until finally, she calmed down. <laughs> There's no need for that, said Mr. Toucan. You can peel the banana the next time you have one. Betty started to eat the banana. But the banana broke. Oh no. What do you think she's going to do? <laughs> Betty cried. <laughs> and she's here. <laughs> and she kicked. And she screamed. And she banged even louder than before. Until finally she calmed down. There is no need for that, said Mr. Toucan. Oh, would you like me to have the banana? Betty ate the banana. And the banana was delicious. Yum! And suddenly, oh, oh, suddenly, Betty saw another banana. And that's the end. What do you think she did when she saw the next banana? Do you think she knew how to peel it, or did she do? You think that's what she did? You think she peeled it? Peeled it. Okay. All right. All right. Are you ready? We're gonna do the 500 little monkeys. We'll be here for a, a whole year if I sing the 500 Little Monkeys, right? A 500 we'll be here a long, long time. So I'll just do five. All right, you ready? Thank you. All right, I hope there's five. When somebody else uses this, then I worry I'm not going to have five monkeys anymore. Ready? Can you help me count? One, two, three. You guys are fast. Oh, I almost put him upside down. And five hundred. No, not five hundred. Five. All right. You guys, can you make a bed with one hand? And your other fingers are going to be the monkey. Pretend there's a monkey on each one of your fingers, okay? Oh, I see so many monkeys. Ready? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many do we have left? Let's count. One, two, three, four. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the 
doctor, and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many do we have left? Three. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and he bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many do we have left? Two. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and he bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. And how many do we have left? Is that it? We have a lot of monkey things today. One little monkey jumping on the bed. He fell off and he bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Wow, great job, you guys. We have lots of monkeys. We did these monkeys. We saw this monkey. We saw Betty. So, I'm going to put these back in the bag. Let's count them and make sure that we have the five before I put them in the bag. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Now I know next time I take them out, there will be five monkeys in here. Okay, our last story is called The Very Quiet Cricket. And I need, you know it, and I need you guys, can you guys see the, the crickets for me? Yeah. All right, so what is the cricket, how does the cricket speak, make noises? He rubs his wings together, right? Okay, and you're going to help this very quiet cricket. Maybe you can make him, you know it, good. I'm going to come to your school and, and watch some movies. No, we don't do movies anymore. Oh, you don't? Oh, okay. No Thanks, Frida. <laughs> All right, ready? One warm day, from a tiny little egg, a cricket was born. Uh, 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 Welcome, Chirp, the big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. Rub those wings. Maybe he'll speak. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Good morning, whizzed a locust spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Hello, whispered a praying mantis, scraping his huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Good day, crunch, crunched a worm, munching its way out of an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. This is a funny one? Hi, bubbled the spittle bug slurping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But what happened? Nothing <coughs> happened. This is a sound. Not a sound. Oh, that's a TV. Good afternoon, screeched a cicada clinging to the branch of a tree. <laughs> The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. How are you, hummed a bumblebee, flying from flower to flower? The little cricket really wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a Good evening, yeah. uh, dragonfly, riding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a Good night, Buzz, the mosquitoes dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he 
rubbed his wings together. Did anything happen? No. But nothing happened. Not a sound. You see the stars, it's night. A luna moth sailed quietly through the night. And the cricket enjoyed the stillness. As the luna moth disappeared silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. And she too was a very quiet cricket. He rubbed his wings together. One more time. Listen. And this time, he chirped the most beautiful sound he could ever heard. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Do you ever hear that night, that sound on the night when you go to bed? In a hot summer night, you hear a cricket? Did you ever? Me too. You heard it? I hear it sometimes late at night, the cricket. Did you fuss a button? All right, let's do our ABCs. Ready? Should we do them backwards too? You yes. think you remember them? Yes. Yeah. No. Can we try? You don't? We better remember them. So yeah. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R Q R S T U V W X Y N Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Good job. Z Y X W V U T S R Q P O N M L K J I H G F E D C B A. Now I know my A B C is backwards. Next time, won't you sing with me? Good job. All right, let's finish up with I'm a little teapot. We haven't done that one in a long time. I want to see everybody look like a teapot. Can I see you look like a teapot? Do I look like one? No. <laughs> All right, ready? I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, and here is my spout. When I get all seamed up, hear me shout. Just tip me over and pour me out. I can change my handle and my spout. Just tip me over and pour me out. Great job, you guys. I want to say hello to everybody at home. Turn around, look at Erica, and say hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> say we'll see you next month. We'll see you next month. Bye. Good job.